Nested Routes has been in Rails for quite a while, but I have yet to do an episode about it, partly because I think they're a bit overused already. But Rails 2.2 brings some nice additions in this area, so now seems like a good time to talk about it. First, let's see what we have to work with. This is a blog style application, and so we can see a given article. There's comments for a given article, so we can see the comments on that article and even create new comments for an article. Now, obviously, um, we have two models here, article and comments, and article has many comments. So immediately when you see this has many association, you think, okay, we should nest the routes. But I encourage you, don't try to jump uh, quite that far yet. Instead, look for other signs like this, the foreign key inside of the URL. So here we're trying to list the comments for a specific article, but to do that, we have to pass the article's ID in the URL so we know which article to list the comments for and to filter them. So that's a good sign that we should use nested routes whenever we have a foreign key needing to pass it through the URL. Again, even more confirmation is when we're trying to create a new comment. Again, here we have to pass the article ID through the URL. And so to clean up our URLs a bit, it'd be nice if we nest these routes so that um, we don't have to pass this as, as a separate parameter. So here's what a route file looks like right now. We have two completely separate resources, articles, and comments, and right now there's no nesting going on. They're just separate resources. But to nest these, there's a couple different ways we can do it. One way is using a block. And you just pass in an argument into the block, and you use that argument to call resources on it for nested resources. So here we can nest comments inside of articles because there's a has many association here. Another way to do it, which is a little more concise and will work well here because we don't need to pass any extra parameters to our comments, you can just call has many comments like that. And that will nest the routes in exactly the same way. So if we immediately start browsing our application from here, we'll notice things start to break. Uh, we get a lot of exceptions happening because we can no longer reference, co reference comments through a simple comments path. We now need to nest comments whenever we're linking to a comments page. Now there are several places throughout our application where we are linking to comments, so I'm just going to go through these and fix their paths. So here we're le referencing comments path, so instead of doing that we need to reference article comments path, and then just pass our article as the parameter in the, in the, uh, the method. And then when we're listing all of our comments for that given article, we have a new comment link down here. And so again here we have to new new article comment path. And again we're passing our article ID here, but instead of doing that we just pass our article as a parameter in the method. And then when we're displaying a specific comment here, we have an edit link. And so again here, edit article comment. And again we have to pass in our article in the, the, uh, the method. And this destroy link is a little bit interesting because we're doing the shortcut of just passing in our comment model to our routing, and that will just be like comment path comment. And that's just a shortcut method uh, approach for doing that. Now if you're just doing this, the way you do nesting is you just pass an array and pass article and then comment here. And then finally, inside of our form, we need to reference our article inside of here as well. So we'll just say article comment, and then we can remove this, this hidden field that was here because it just passes the article ID. But now that'll be passed inside of the, uh, the routing when we pass in submit the form, so we no longer need to reference this article ID parameter. And oh yeah, there's also a couple more changes we need to make inside of our comments controller here. Um, we need to reference, because all of these actions are now nested under articles, it's a good idea to always fetch your article at the beginning of each of these actions. And of course you can put this in a before filter too to clean this up. And while we're at it, it's a good practice to always call finds through associations whenever you're doing this. So article.commas.find and so on whenever we're editing or updating or destroying uh, a given article. So this way we ensure that commas can only be found inside their nested article. Okay, so now that we've fixed those problems, let's try reloading here. And there we go, it loads fine. Go to our comments, and there we go. It's still working, and notice the URL is a little slightly different here. It's nesting the article, the comments, uh, referencing those inside of that given article. And um, if we edit those, 
that still works and creating a new comment that still works so so far this is looking pretty good it's now nesting all of our comment URLs inside of our articles now I should point out real quick here that whenever Rails does nesting it just uses a parameter name like this article underscore ID to reference that article that is nested um, for the comments now all of this that I've shown you has been available in earlier versions of Rails but what's new in Rails 2.2 well, there's something called shallow routing. And to show you, let me edit a comment here. And if we take a look at the URL here, we can see there's a bit of redundancy. We're fetching the article, articles one, and then we're saying comments two. And both of these are the ID for that specific record. Well, the, the articles one part really isn't necessary because what we're interested in here is fetching just that specific comment. And if we need the article, we can always just fetch our comment and then reference our article using that. So it's not really necessary to have the article one part in this URL. And this especially becomes apparent if you have deeply nested routes. And so this is, it's encouraged to use shallow routing whenever possible so that you don't have these super long URLs when you have deeply nested routes. So the way we enable shallow routing is just to call pass the shallow option to our routes, just say true. And what this will do is it will nest some routes but not all of them. It'll nest all of the ones that it needs to, like if you're displaying multiple comments for an article or just creating a comment on that article, then it will nest those, but not nest the other routes which are referencing a specific comment, such as editing or showing a specific comment. So to apply this, we'll need to revert some of our earlier changes of nesting our article's path whenever we're linking to a given comment. So in this case, we don't need to call edit article comment path because we're referencing a specific comment here, so we don't need to nest that, or when we're destroying a comment, again, you're referencing a specific comment. And finally, in our controller, uh, we no longer want to nest, we no longer have access to our article ID when we're editing or updating a comment or destroying one, because those are all um, not nested anymore inside of our URL. So we just reference our comment directly instead of finding it through our association. And if we had a show action here, it would be the same way because we're referencing a specific comment by the ID. Now these other actions up here still need to be nested and fetching our, our article because there's no ID for a given comment to go by. So let's see how this works. If we go to an article, click comments, we can see this is still nested as necessary because we would pass our article ID through here. We need to display just the comments for that given article. If we create a new comment, we can see that's still nested as needed. But if we edit a comment, that's no longer nested under articles because we can reference that comment directly through the ID instead of going through comments. And same goes for destroy, but I don't want to do that yet. I want to finish off this episode with one more quick tip. Let's say we wanted in our application a page that just shows all the comments despite whether they're in uh, any kind of article or not, just all of the comments. Well, if we go to slash comments right now, that will give us a routing error because that route it hasn't been generated. Well, inside of our routes file, it's easy enough to add this route by just calling map resources comments, and that would give us a comments path uh, routing. That would go to our controller and wouldn't be nested under articles. But this also generates a lot of other routes which we don't really want for creating uh, comments on their own and so on. Well, there's a nice addition in Rails 2.2 with the only and accept options which you can pass to map.resources. So we can say we only want our index um, route to be created here and no other ones for creating uh, comments and updating them and so on. So this will do just what we want, just creating that new index route instead of all the other ones. So now when we go here and we reload, uh, we, we get an error here because it's looking for an article in our controller and so on, and we don't have that. But the point is that we no longer get a routing error because that route was created for us in just that one specific route, not other ones. So that finishes this episode on routing. I do think nested routes do have their place, but I also think they're a bit overused. So don't just blindly apply nested routes every time you have a has many association, because that can get a little bit messy, especially for deeply nested associations. Instead, I encourage you to look for cases where you're having to pass your foreign keys around in the URL and then add nesting 
to uh, clean up your URLs a bit in those cases. This episode is sponsored by Pragmatic Screencasts. There you will find high-quality screencasts on a variety of subjects, including Ruby and Rails. Check them out at pragmatic.tv.